in this lecture we will see about the dimensions how we can do the dimension in Revit so uh, as you can see here that right now I am in the annotate tab and in the annotate tab you will get a bunch of different options for the dimensions as you can see here we have aligned linear and angular and radial and all these options are available but as of now we are only going to focus only in these two so let's see how we can use them in Revit so for that what I will do is first of all I will uh, start with aligning dimension the shortcut is DI I can just simply click on that one and after that all I need is just to take my mouse cursor to this region and if you notice here you can clearly see that right now I have set this one as wall center line you can change this to any of these you want uh, I can just simply go ahead and click on the wall faces as well so I have chosen the wall faces so this is the wall faces and you can see I'm just clicking on the wall faces all you need is just to do a single click on the wall faces just like that and the wall faces is also getting highlighted and after that all you need is just to simply take your mouse cursor on the upper hand side and, all, and after that you just simply need to do a single click and after that you will get a something like this okay so like that you can even use uh, this uh, one uh, walls and center line as well so let me demonstrate to you that one as well you can see that right now we are seeing at the center line you can see the center to center distance of the walls as well so in this way you can use the align tool in Revit also if you have any kind of problem you can see that uh, currently it is very difficult to see exactly what exactly here so you can just simply click on that one and after that you will get this uh, drag text option you can see this, this is a drag text option you can just simply select on that you can drag in any direction in uh, you want and it will clearly show you that this is 0.23 meter like that you can do the same thing with this one as well all you need is to, you can just simply drag this one on this side you can see how uh, good this one is looking and how easy it is to read okay you can do the same thing uh, with this text as well but uh, obviously you can clearly see this text so we don't need to do any kind of thing okay so this is all about the align dimension let's look ahead to the linear one so if you go to annotate again and you can see that this is the linear so what exactly the difference and uh, when we have to use this let me show you so what I will do is I will just simply draw a wall here so this is an inclined wall okay you can see and now what I will do is I will just simply type di which is the align dimension you can clearly measure the uh, align dimension of this one just like this and even you can uh, you can measure the dimension of uh, right now you can see that this is wall center line I can just simply go to the wall faces I can choose this wall face and this wall face okay and I can show that thing but as of now oh, you can see that I am looking only at the inclined dimension but if you just simply go to annotate okay and then this time you choose the linear option in that case let me show you what you can do is you can just simply select on this one you will be only able to sh uh, show the horizontal or vertical direction just like this you can see that you can only show the horizontal direction or the vertical direction you won't be able to show, uh, uh, show the inclined direction and you can see how these things works so in the next lecture we will explore more dimension options in Revit.